What's up everybody, this is Scott, and welcome back to another video. Well, everybody knows that I like headphones. I listen to a ton of music. I actually don't watch television so much. I watch YouTube, of course, but most of the time I spend listening to music and things like that. And while I've reviewed a lot of headphones, I've never gotten around to reviewing anything from Bose, but definitely not their truly wireless Bose Sport Free, and it continuously comes up in the comments. So I finally broke down and bought a pair, but how do they compare to a lot of the other ones that I've tested? And do they supplant kind of my king of Android ones right now? Uh, king of Android's pretty ridiculous, but my most favorite ones of the Google Pixel Buds. So the Bose Sport Free are IPX4 water resistant. So you should feel comfortable wearing those to the gym and kind of around, maybe in a rainstorm, but don't go jump in a pond or a pool or anything like that. They are not waterproof. This complete plastic design actually looks really nice compared to some of the other ones that I reviewed. And they have this nice wing design that when you put it in your ear and you twist, it actually holds pretty tight and true. Those rubber wings definitely help hold and they were a nice touch. However, the Bose Sport Free stick way out in your ears as compared to any of the other ones that I've reviewed. There are a good few knuckles outside of my ear, so people are definitely gonna notice when you wear them in your ears. Now, while that didn't bother me too much because there's so much more to like about them, it's just something that you wanna be cognizant of. So the battery case, the thing that I kinda complained about the Jabber Elite 65T, the battery case for these Bose Sport Free is excellent. It absolutely holds them in. You can turn them upside down. Just when you think that they would fall out, they actually don't. They are magnetized, so you really truly get to enjoy the fact that they're never just gonna accidentally open and fly way out of the case. Now the case is large, but overall it's a really, really nice design and the size of the case isn't necessarily a deal breaker. Now from the battery life perspective with the Bose, I was able to get those five hours. The case itself gives an additional 10 hours, so you basically get three full cycles before you have to charge up the Bose plugged into a micro USB. Please, companies recognize right now that we have to get away from micro USB and go to USB type C. Now this is a one size fits all approach, much like the Apple AirPods. However, they fit my ears absolutely perfectly. I was really impressed at the comfort too. I actually wore these things for five hours multiple times in multiple sessions just to see how comfortable they would be. I did take them to the driving range with me and more about that in a minute, but they were super comfortable that I just forgot that I had them in my ears most of the time and they were just that comfortable. Now the Bose are not noise canceling or noise isolation. You would think that because you get such a really good seal out of those rubber tips but that's just that much more impressive with the fact that they can stick in your ears and you get that much better sound out of it and they're not noise isolation. So I talked about it before, I wore these during a golf session uh, just to kind of test them out and see what they were. Now I wore these for about three hours that I was practicing, putting, chipping, full shots, they never fell out. So perfectly good fit, I absolutely love that. However, there were some times where the Bluetooth would kind of cut out in one of the buds, cut in and out in both buds or completely drop off and then pick itself back up. Now that was when I was right next to the bag, so I'm not entirely sure if it was an interference thing, but even when I walked 10 and 12 feet away, I remained perfectly connected. Overall, I was pretty impressed. I was able to walk long distances away from my phone and not have those drops, but again, that one time just makes me go, uh, is that a one-time thing or is that something I could expect if I use these all the time? Now let's talk about the sound quality itself. The sound quality is actually really good. Let's keep in mind that these are truly wireless buds and no truly wireless buds gonna give you like this overwhelmingly, I'm at a concert from 1978, just not gonna happen. That's not what truly wireless buds are for. So overall, I actually really like the sound out of the Bose. In my last video, I talked about how I even preferred the sound over the Apple AirPods, my previous favorite when it came to truly wireless buds. The Bose sounded really amazing. The bass was a nice and meaty. It actually had highs and mids that weren't too muddled. However, if you do find a song that has a lot of bass, they tend to kind of overcompensate with that and it definitely does muddy up the middles and the highs. However, one thing I'm gonna warn you about, the conference calling or the phone calling are just awful. So if you need to do that for anything like that, you need to have a backup pair of buds because Bose just did not nail it. First, it's the right bud only, just not good at all, yet nothing out of the left. Not having both buds be able to be used during a telephone call was super disappointing to me because sometimes I just get really tired and I wanna switch buds. The Apple AirPods can do that, the Google Pixel Buds can do that, the Bose Sport Free can. And it was just muddy to listen to. The person on the other end could barely hear me because the microphone itself picked up my voice and everything around me. So if you are out in public at all, 
these are pretty much a no-go when it comes to actually using them as like anything related to telephone. Now before I talk about the price, I wanna talk about the gestures. This is something for my Android people out there. They do have the ability to use the Google Assistant. There's a button on the right bud that you can press and hold and it immediately evokes the Assistant. This is something that I loved because I wasn't jamming it into my ears. I was able to grip it between my index finger and my thumb, press, move volume up and down, and I absolutely love the ability to have them on the top rather than pushing them in on the sides. Very well done, Bose, I like that a lot. Now from a price perspective, the Bose Sport Free at the time of this video are 200 bucks. That's about $50 more than what you're gonna get out of the Apple AirPods and the Google Pixel Buds. But are they worth $50 more with the additional functionality that you get? These are my favorite truly wireless buds currently on the market that I have tested. That's not to say that the other ones aren't great. The Apple AirPods are great, but because I'm an Android guy and I have the ability to use the Google Assistant, the Bose are something that definitely replaced the Apple AirPods as my favorite truly wireless buds. So that's it. That's my review of the Bose Sport Free. As always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and I will see you next time.